So um, the first uh, set of struggles you're going to probably bump into are um, like the three basics of survival, which are going to be food, water, and bullets. All of these things are very expensive and you're going to run into like major money problems like almost immediately. You can definitely keep up with demands by doing quests. So what you want to do is actually try and uh, mitigate the costs of your survival requirements by making them yourself so you can kill mutants and you can get some food like that anything that has this little fork and knife means you can cook it and eat it you can eat it on its own as well but it will poison the heck out of you it'll poison you anyway even if you cook it but there are ways of taking care of that checking that box basically a lot of quests like story quests will give you the opportunity to gain antidotes and bio or chemical resistance you can just keep these on you for the purposes of like when you need to eat your mutant meat and then take your pills and then you will, won't die but eventually you're going to want to do this better by getting yourself like either an army kettle or um, some kind of cooking tool. These tools will require fuel, so you'll need to have stuff like kerosene or charcoal, but um, I'm gonna use this just to show it off a bit. Mostly the green drop means that it's like, this is the best version of this food. Every like food type or mutant type has two versions. One will be, if you look at the panel on the bottom left there, mildly toxic. So you can eat this without dying, but you'll probably accumulate a little bit of toxicity and it's not really good for your health. But what you really want to do is make the better version, the purified. So this is where like things like vodka and various alcohols come into the game. You'll accumulate these things, but I, I guess the, the thing I want to underline here is don't sell these things. Basically, all of the vodkas, all of the uh, alcohols are good for various different purposes, including making your own drugs uh, and bandages and stuff like that. But I find it's mostly helpful for making purified food. So if I cook this up, then I've, I've made some purified, whatever, dog meat. Just about any major settlement will uh, sell stuff to, to make food. Um, right now I'm at the farm. I'll show you where that is. He has, yeah, so he's got a kettle. He's also got a field cooking kit. I'm gonna eat this. My dude is actually kind of hungry, so. So that's food taken care of. That's like, once you've gotten that sorted, then you don't have to spend all of your money on food. So the next thing you have to do is figure out water. Unfortunately, there's an emission, so I'm not gonna be able to leave the house. If you get these, uh, these canteens, and you can start the game with a canteen, and it'll give you like a bunch of uses out of it. Like it comes with a bunch of water. Um, but once you're done, don't throw away the canteen because you can actually refill it. The water in the zone isn't good for your health, for sure. Uh, I tend to go to the swamp to refill my water because it's like the easiest way to retrieve some water without getting killed. When you filled your canteen with like swamp water, it'll be like toxic garbage. You do not want to use that. What you'll want to do is go to like any fire and then, yeah, you can right click it and, and boil it. It's still not good, however. Uh, even at that point, like you can drink it and it may not kill you, but you'll still be toxifying yourself a little bit. You're going to want to get some of these purifying pills. These are super cheap. You can buy these like for like 1200 to maybe even 2000 rubles but you get 10 uses out of them. They're very cost effective. Um, a couple of these will actually purify an entire canteen of water. All of that makes for like really, really cheap water um, instead of having to, to buy water. And you're still occasionally gonna wanna buy mineral water. Mineral water is actually used for, uh, can be used for recipes. So when you get certain kinds of meat, not everything is gonna let you use like Nemiroff vodka or the Patinka vodka. And some will want you to use mineral water. So different recipes require different kinds of, you know, purifying liquids. So the, the third and last um, survival box that you're gonna need to check is uh, bullets. Um, you're gonna accumulate um, a couple of guns that have bullet requirements. Certain ammo types are definitely more common than others, and certainly, um, you know, the bandits you uh, encounter in the zone are going to favor certain kinds of weapons over than over others. They may carry an SKS or a rifle, but they may not have all that much 762 ammo. If you actually like want to have uh, an easier time renewing your bullet supply, especially if you're picking your bullets off of bandit corpses, you are definitely going to want 
want to have like a shotgun of any kind because the the buckshot is very renewable and you can tend to resupply off of like killing bandits and stuff like that there's nothing wrong with get, having a, a rifle that needs 762 but i have often found that i just run out of the 762 right away just it's extremely expensive or like difficult to resupply that um eventually like i i recommend honestly getting yourself a rifle that takes 556 because the 556 is fairly renewable but also there's a lot of 556 and what you will eventually want to do is accumulate keep all the ammunition even the ammunition you can't use so like for instance my adar here uses 556 45 you'll see in the bottom left or the corner there 556 45 um, which is a specific kind of measurement bullet um, and it doesn't take 545 39 which i have here you're gonna want to buy as soon as you can a few things you're gonna want a multi-tool um you're gonna want a file a ramrod these are for the purposes of maintaining your guns and stuff but the main thing here i want to underline is the multi-tool the multi-tool is used for disassembling bullets and basically everything like it's it's invaluable more often than not when i'm like out in the zone and i'm battling like with weight uh like i have way too much stuff i'm carrying and i'll find a corpse you you're not ever going to want to pick up guns unless you plan on using those guns but you will want to disassemble them because you're absolutely going to want to acquire parts for um repairing guns in the future carrying these is way easier than carrying the guns and also um if you think you're gonna sell those guns you're you're, you're not because no one is going to buy a gun. Most of the time, those guns will be broken or very badly conditioned, and no one will, sell, will, will buy them off you. And the irony is that if they are in good enough condition that they would buy it from you, you'd probably want to keep it because it has very good parts. Reject the idea of selling guns to, to people. It doesn't work. But if you field strip them, if you right click it and field strip it, then you can grab all of the parts off of it. And that's, you know, very small. And people will tend to actually buy that stuff. You won't get a lot, but it will add up over time. But in back to bullets, um, you were, you're going to want to keep the bullets, even if they're not uh, compatible with your guns because this 550 545 here i'm going to batch disassemble all of this and that's using my multi-tool that's going to give me parts it's going to give me these ar bullets um and these are generic like kind of parts for other bullets and i can use these uh, eventually it, it took me quite a long time to earn enough to, to buy one but you eventually you can you can get yourself some gunsmithing tools if you're playing with restricted recipes meaning that like you don't know the recipes until you get the right magazine um that explains how to how to do them then you can um, start making your own bullets and then you can make the bullets that are actually compatible with your gun and that's why it's, it's great if you can find like 545 even though it's not compatible because it was 45 it's still assault rifle ammo and so therefore i'll get the parts i need to make assault rifle ammo all i'm saying here is that um different ammo types will break down into their kind of generic parts so keep everything keep keep ammo disassemble and field strip guns instead of carrying them unless you plan on using them because you will have to fight uh weight restrictions like a lot eventually get yourself a some gunsmithing tools so you can make your own ammo like you're gonna have to bite the bullet no pun intended but you'll have to buy some ammo and it's expensive ammo is just like ridiculously expensive and uh, you'll want to eventually be able to make your own